when people start uh, building their um, electronic circuits, they often uh, make use of uh, these uh, jumper wires. You get various types of three types, a male to male, female to female, and male to female. Now, um, there are a couple of things, a couple of mistakes uh, that you, if, if you haven't worked with them enough, uh, that you would make. Uh, and, you know, I've, I've spent quite a, um, I've wasted quite a few, so I might as well share, share the tips that I've learned, uh, in my experience at least. So, in no particular order, um, here are, uh, well, nine tips um, that you, that I would just advise you to follow if you're new to the, uh, to building circuits using um, jumper wires. Now, th first of all, is uh, to always make sure that you align your the tips of the uh, of your jumper. Now, the reason for that is it should be for a good example would be um, as you can see here, all all of the sides are exactly aligned. Um, it's not pointing one way or another way. Looking example um, I'm going to just grab one here it's not so I mean if you what you effectively want to do is to well, <laughs> a little bit just to align them like this to get it insert like that right um, and not don't do this don't insert it backwards uh, you know wrong way around or sideways or Something like that. That's you know, you know, um, that's the first thing. So uh, keep your keep those tips aligned wherever you make a connection. If you're making multiple connections, um, you know, always keep them aligned as far as possible. So it's, it just looks neat, and um, there's an additional reason for it. Um, well, there's, there's quite a few reasons for it. So the next thing is um, keep your pins color coded as. Uh, as far as possible. Usually when you buy um, jumper cables, you'll get them in various colors. So usually, I mean, if you're if you using a, a board, then start by just plugging in unique colors into each pin that you intend to use, and then keep to those colors. I mean, if you pl plugged in a, like a orange at the start, then the last connection of that one should also be uh, orange one. That just shows you the tip, so that you don't have to. So that you can easily, if you read over here, uh, you know, you can easily see. Look, it's orange. The tip, it's also orange. That's okay. Um, it's quite a nightmare if you have to run through these cables. Um, then, if if you put plug in one color is orange and one is a uh, blue, and then the next one is orange again, and, you know, yeah, it's quite a nightmare. Um, so I mean that's a, that's the next thing. So uh, um, next uh, tip to mention probably is that you should never reuse these cables. Um, once you've used them, you see it as kind of a kind of a permanent uh, connection. The more you take them out and in, eventually it gets to a point where it cannot actually um, it doesn't fit fit anymore. It actually just starts falling out. Now the main reason for that is a uh, camera on this is not good enough uh, to show you that, but um, there's effectively a little bit the wedge uh, shape uh, in, in the males. Now the thing is if you push it in, uh, that wedge effectively gets uh, squashed a little bit and the female side also gets bent out a little bit. So I mean at that point it's at, at the best connection that you can get. If you take it out, then, uh, you know, if, if you don't insert it exactly the same way, even if you do insert it exactly the same way, uh, most of that tension and uh, pressure would, you know, not exist uh, and it would still fall, easily fall out. Now, if you turn it around the precedent or turn it sideways, now you're just keeping, um, you're just deforming the tip of this um, nail point, even though you might not see it with your eye um, if from afar. If you look closely, you will see that it is all bent all to all different sides and compressed too small to actually stay in the in hole. So I mean that's the next uh, next step. Okay, so um, the next one would be okay to keep your cables together when you are um, when you're using what I mean by keeping them together is 
to say, look, you're, if you're going to use three different colors, try to use the three in, um, that are in a sequence according to it. So let's say if you need to use, in this case, black, uh, white, and whatever color next to that is, peel the first bunch off to get to that, and then take the colors that you need. You know, if you've got four wires or five wires, you can take that off. And then you're left with only what you need. And this just makes it simple. You can always remove this if you need to, but it just automatically keeps your things nice and tidy, uh, sticking together. If it does go loose, I mean, you'll see, for example, this is a loose one, and then I include it. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, if you did it right, you don't need cable ties. Uh, if you didn't, then you might need cable ties to, to neaten your things up. Now, um, the next thing to mention is, um, okay, what you can do, what I usually do at least once I'm done and I'm happy with a connection, is to glue it. But don't, don't glue it prematurely. The main reason is sometimes, especially if you're connecting to um, uh, you know, some sort of external device, not male to female or you know, as such, but to let's say a motor, uh, a DC motor or something, you might glue it at that point and con just continue on. Uh, but sometimes a mistake because the glue gets in between the um, two pieces of metal and then it doesn't conduct electricity. So if you glue it, uh, you might end up working all the way through only to find that you've made a mistake uh, uh, with the gluing process and all your work you need to undo to fix that little problem, which shouldn't have been a problem. So preferably, um, if, you're, you, uh, if, you're, if you need to attach to an external uh, device, so, you know, when I say device, I mean something like a mana plug or a, a motor or some sort of connection. Generally, the best idea is to use solder and to solder it onto that and not use glue. A glue is a secondary option or additional option that you can use to secure it, but uh, just uh, if you put a tiny bit of solder onto one of these. Um, uh, tips it stays there so whatever you put it through and you put so solder over it will stay in that position um, whereas if you glue it it will stay there but it might not conduct electricity so okay so the next thing um, yeah okay so uh, when you're plugging in the cables to uh, you know let's say male to female um, one thing that you don't want to do is that even if you're pressing against the board or wherever you're actually pushing these things, don't keep your uh, keep your don't keep your fingers this far apart. Always make sure that you grab it right behind on the cable itself, not on the head. If you do that, you might press it out of its socket and the whole thing will come loose. So what you want to optimally do is to just grab it right behind uh, this, you know, the one side behind it. And just behind it, so you're actually pressing uh, a little bit downwards, you know, uh, from a cable's perspective. So your uh, the force is not on, uh, you know, it's directly on the plastic and the, and the pieces of metal on the inside. So you're pressing it. I'm having trouble not putting my hands in between but to show you this. But if you don't do that, you'll find it if yes, maybe 60% of the time the thing will come loose or something won't be won't be alright. As you can see, this is alright, good connection. It's fairly sturdy. Um, it's not going to come loose. Ah, and now, like I said, at this point, usually, you know, if I'm happy, I would take just a little bit of um, a little bit of super glue and just run it over. You know, I just press it to make sure. Well, I don't want to get super glue on my computer, but effectively just run it over there and let it dry for a few, a few well, a minute or so. And now I've got a fairly stable and permanent connection, um, which will last quite a while. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all the tips that I that I have. Um, you know, well, I don't think I missed anything. Um, maybe maybe if somebody could add some. If you have suggestions, feel free to post them or uh, you know in the comment section. I do uh, view the video, uh, the, the comments, even though they are not that many views. I do uh, view them, and I will uh, reply if I can. 
and I like these tips out. So yeah, cool. Thank you. And the uh, last thing uh, I should mention, uh, I'm Leon from Levo Electronics. You can find you know a lot of uh, well all these jumper lines are always there. It's on my website newbot.net. Um, and I hope to see you soon again. Probably will.